Plumbing tips. Which ring to use for setting a new toilet? Have you ever thought about that? This video is sponsored by Leak Pro. Go check out leak-pro.com. There's all kinds of new waxes or new rings coming out. Me being an old school plumber, I still love bowl wax. But we're gonna put it to the test today. We're gonna take our special design custom assembly and we're gonna install different types of wax and rings and then put them to a pressure test to see which one actually works better for you the homeowner or you the plumber if you're installing it. That way you're not called back because they have sewer gas smells inside their house. Anyway, let's jump in here and check this out. So this is the magic contraption we built. And I gotta tell you, it's really pretty neat. We took a piece of four inch pipe, put a cap on it, tapped it so we can add pressure, and we've got a ring up here. So we have actually cut some six inch round clear, some six inch round, some six inch round. So we've got some six inch round clear acrylic that we've drilled holes in. So we're actually gonna attach it to the top of the wax and the rings and then apply pressure and see how they do. So anyway, let's get going. So we're gonna take this and pretend it's on the bottom of a toilet and set it in there, just like it would be if the toilet sat down. Gonna take our custom made clear acrylic and put on there. It probably should have put our toilet bolts on first. Then we're gonna take our clear acrylic and put on there. Line it up dead center. Put our washers on here and our nuts. There's no metal washer on this one, right? All right, so we've got these started just like you would have on a toilet. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna Snug it up just a little bit. So we really don't know how much pressure is on it because this isn't like a toilet. The toilet's got a flange where it's gonna set around the outside. So as you can see, we've actually squeezed it down till the wax has started to push out around the edges. And we can see about how far down we are. We look fairly close to being even. And we're tight enough that it's pulling up on the sides. So let's just see what kind of pressure this will get up to. And you heard it right there. It got up to about 25 or 30 pounds before it dropped. Now there should never be that much pressure on your sewer system, meaning on the bottom side of your P-trap, when you flush your toilet and the water goes down, there shouldn't be a ton of pressure. Even if your toilet stopped up, even if your sewer main is stopped up, that pressure, well, I mean, think about it. We're talking three feet, one and a half PSI. So that's why wax rings have lasted so long and done so good. So we'll check the video, but about 25, 30 PSI is where I heard it give away. And the thing is, once it gives away, now this, curved acrylic may be pulling back down on it, but once it gives way, well, that's when you start getting sewer gas smells in your house. Because remember, this is tied to your sewer, the p traps on the top side. So let's take this apart. And it did get a good seal all the way around it. So let's swap this out and see what we can do now. All right, so now we're back with the extra thick wax ring. And when I'm in a field, when I'm in a truck, I know it's been a while. Uh, that's what I really enjoyed. I like having the extra thick rings because I know that, and I just, I know that they're gonna do what they need to do. It's pretty funny, I'm flipping the washer over because I, I know that the cap has to go under a certain point. Okay, now these are gonna be a little bit tighter to get on. As you see, I'm having to squeeze it down just a little bit because of the extra thickness of the wax ring. 
Now by the feel of it, this is not as tight as I would tighten up a toilet. But like I said, remember, the toilet's got that flange around it, so it's gonna set on the tile on the floor and it, it's gonna seal off. Now by looking at it, you know, you can tell this wax is pushing out just about all the way around. Now it's not right here, which is funny, because it's pushing out around here and pushing out a lot around the back. And I'm trying to squeeze it down just a little bit more just to make sure that we've got a good seal all the way around there about like it would be with the toilet. And let's pump this one up and see what it does. Again, that got right up to 30 PSI. Now, I don't think that's 30 PSI total though because we're going with the pump and of course when you push it, it climbs up really, really high, but it came back down and it's still holding here at five PSI. And if I slowly pump, Yeah, it's not holding any pressure. So where it blew out, it's not sealing back up. Now we could put smoke in this to see where it's coming out, but we didn't set it up for that. So we're not gonna try that today. So again, looks like about the same blowout point. Okay, so next we're going better than wax. Now it says better than wax. So I don't know, let's jump in here and see. And I'm looking at this because I, you know, believe it or not, guys, I don't use these. But that's how they go. So this goes up against the toilet. So we're gonna stick this down right there, and this side up, and this side up. So we've got it right there. All right. So we get it all put together the way we want it. And yes, as you see, we had to put longer bolts in there. This is a little bit thicker, quite a bit actually. Now I'm already thinking about what I like better about this type. Again, it's hard to tell how far to tighten this one down because it's not like the wax where I can just pull it down to about the same thickness, which I could have probably measured it and done that. But since we had cut the other bolts off one of these, man, we're assuming we're at about the same spot right here. So they're not super tight. If I was a plumber tightening up the toilet, I would tighten this up more. So, let's pop it up and see what we get here. Well, no. If it's letting air out, you've got foam under it. Is the air gonna leak out through the foam? To I was gonna say it did go higher. Okay. As you see, I had to get squirt in here because look, look here, the air's coming out on the sides. But and, and you can hear it coming out now. So what I was gonna say at the end probably ain't gonna matter now because my thought was, if this loosened up to let the air out, you would think the, the, the rubber seal would seal back off, but apparently it's not. Yeah, I can hear it coming out of it. I would think that the rubber seal would push back up. So I was gonna say, I would probably like the rubber seals better because then if you get, until it gets loose a little bit and wobbles, once you push that wax down, it's not sealing back off. But my thought would be, once you broke the seal on this, it could reseal again, and we can't get it to hold. I wonder if we should have tried it without the thick ring. Because see, that shows it without it. I know. So now we're gonna try another one, almost similar to what we just did. I see this, this has got multiple foams, but since we use multiples on the other one, we're gonna leave it on this one too. Well, the good thing about this is there's no wax to clean up. But I would still be thinking if I'm pulling one of these, there's gonna be some fecal remnants down in that foam that you do not wanna get a hold of. Universal wax-free easiest way to set a toilet. I have figured out the easiest way to set a toilet is to have somebody else do it. All right, let's see what this one does. It 
Yeah, it sounds like it's coming out. Yeah, it sounds like it's coming out already. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can hear it from the get-go. Have y'all ever had a rubber blowout? I mean, that's what it did. Uh, it actually blew it, yeah, up in there like it's trying to come out and seal it off. Anyway, we couldn't get this one to hold any pressure. Yeah, this literally did, it kind of pushed that rubber up in there, so. You know, guys, look, from, from as quick as these were leaking, at least the wax held up. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's the greatest thing on earth, but plumbers have been using wax for years and they use it for a reason. It works. But once that toilet starts wobbling, you need something else. If you're a plumber and you're using one of the foam wax rings, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're a homeowner and you've done this change out all by yourself and that's what you use, let me know how it'd go. I see how it'd be easier to work with. I see how it'd definitely be a lot easier to clean up, but let me know how did it work out for you. This video was sponsored by Leak Pro, leak-pro.com. If you're a plumbing company owner or you're a plumber and you wanna learn how to improve your skills, your services, the value you bring to your customers each and every day, go to leak-pro.com, check out the training, check out the equipment, and it'll help you take care of your customers better. If you get any value of these videos, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It actually lets YouTube know that we're bringing you value. And it lets YouTube know that these are the kind of videos you wanna see, so maybe they'll show you some more. If you know anybody that is a homeowner or they're in the trades and you wanna share this video with them, that helps us do everything that we do. So thank you, I do appreciate you.